So the knife we are going to take a look at now is uh, the last one from my recent batch here. Uh, this is the A&R Slatos Berkut. Berkut, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, not quite sure. Uh, a smaller knife compared to the the larger ones we have recently taken a look at, uh, the Slatos and the Grizzly. So let's uh, let's unsheath this one and go over the details, specs and all that. And for that I'm going to need my second hand as well, so give me a second here. Well, here we have the unsheathed Burkut. A uh, lot of engravings going on on this one. Lucky for me it doesn't look too bad. So this one, like I stated, is uh, a lot smaller than the previous two we have taken a look at. A uh, more, you know, compact knife of sorts. Uh, I actually don't know what kind of wood scales uh, this one has. Uh, need to check that out, but uh, it does look... I kind of like, you know, these darker wood scales uh, from the, the light birch. Birch is nice as well, but... On some knives, you know, dark handles just, you know, they just do it for me. Uh, as always, aluminum uh, pommel and aluminum guard here. Uh, the blade steel is, as always, 95X18, which should be specified right there as well. Um, bit thicker handle um, compared to the, uh, the Grizzly and the um, Slatos. Still not too thick nor wide, uh, too wide. No, also, you know, quite a, a, a good, uh, comfortable gripper of sorts. Uh, so let's go over the the specs on this one, shall we? Uh, let's let's actually let's start with the weight. I think I forgot about that in the in the last video I made. But regardless, uh, the weight of this knife is uh, 230 grams. Um, the overall length of this blade or knife is 273 millimeters with a blade length of 150 uh, millimeters. The blade thickness of this one is 3.4 millimeters and as you can see the full blade thickness is this part. Then it goes into a swedge grind. Uh, I don't think I've seen any knife from A&R Slatos that does not come with a with a swedge grind. Seems to be standard on all of their uh, knives of sorts. Um, but at least here, you know, I, I sometimes complain about you know, having to place my thumb here on the swedge grind. But in this case, they do have a long uh, part here with a full spine thickness. Then again, there is no choil or anything really here, so you, you don't really I don't feel the need for this much, you know, full thickness here. Uh, not that I'm complaining like that, but you know, I would have preferred this longer full spine thickness on the on the Slatos instead. Uh, for example, where it actually had some some specific use. Uh, regardless, uh, it is what it is. Uh, the motif here or the engraving is a bird and some uh, ornaments of sorts. Uh, quite, you know, actually quite stylish. Uh, I do tend to like knives without any type of, you know, engravings or motifs or anything on the blade. But, you know, when you can't choose, uh, then I do prefer something like this that is actually semi, you know, stylish in some way or uh, sense. So, that is uh, the Burkutter. Um, this is what I originally wanted to go with when I ordered uh, uh, the a and Slatos Valdai, uh, because the Valdai had a full, uh, the full sweat grind here, and I wanted a knife which, you know, since I do like to place my thumb at times, I really wanted a knife with, with uh, the spine thickness intact here, and not with a full sweat grind. Then again, I do like the Valdai as well. I, I like all my knives from a and Slatos, but I like them in, in different, uh, in different ways, um, to put it like that. So uh, this video is of course not a a review, it is more of a overview of sorts uh, and as such I'm not going to do any you know real tasks or anything. I just want to get some, some videos out on my channel like first looks etc uh, to get the channel going again and you know so that people know what is 
uh, coming up in, in the near and also semi far uh, future, uh, to put it like that. So, um, yeah, the Burkut. Stout knife, compact. Still quite sufficient.